but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. He took me straight to Ephesians 6, 10. Now, I had been reading every night. I don't know if I stopped right before that. But all I know is he told me to read the Bible. And when I opened the Bible and read it, I read Ephesians 6.10. And that taught me a valuable lesson. It taught me, uh, he taught me a valuable lesson that day. Because I prayed the armor and I didn't even know what I did. I was obedient. I read his word and I put it on. And from that day on, I started praying the armor of God. And then he taught me how to cover not only myself that I was praying for, but how to cover my wife, how to cover my Lionel, my destiny, and my auntie, my children. And then he taught me how to pray for my mom. And then he just started putting people that I would pray and cover them with the armor and the blood of Jesus Christ, co-workers, my friends, fam, uh, my wife's family and her friends, even her friends and my friends and co-workers, even bosses that I don't like, the Lord would put it on my heart to cover them with the blood. And I learned a valuable lesson that day. I learned that the evil one comes to kill, steal and destroy, just like the word tells us. But he says, but I have come to give you life. And what he means by that, when he told me to put on the armor of God, he was teaching me that we battle against enemies that are not human, not flesh. They are spirits. They are evil, demonic spirits. They are the fallen angels that fell. And that is who we battle. We do not battle men. We battle principalities, evil darkness, and heavenly places. That is who we battle. We battle spiritual hosts and wickedness and, and heavenly places. And when we cover ourselves with the armor of God, we put on the armor of God, does that mean that they can't mess with you? No, that doesn't mean that. What it means is that you are ready for battle. That means that when they come on you, they see that you have the armor of God and you're covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. And chances are they don't even mess with you because you are covered with the blood and you are covered with Jesus Christ. And it is He that saves us. It is He that does the works. It is He that protects you. It is He that guides you. It is He, the Holy Spirit, who leads you and will tell you of things to come. He protects you. And when you are wearing the armor, you are fitted and you are ready for battle and you are doing all that you can do to stand. And then you are ministering the word and you are applying his word. Remember, it says to have your feet planted and rooted in his word, which is the word of God, which is the sword, which is the word, is the Bible. And when we plant and root our feet in the Bible, then we can minister his word pray his word for people, speak the word, let people know how God has done in your life. You are the testimony. You are the one that can say, hey, the Lord has done this. I was on drugs. I was a gambler. I was a prostitute. I was a, a, a heathen. I was a murderer, a thief. I robbed people. God can turn your life around, but you have to ask God to come in and change you, brothers and sisters. Come in and accept the Lord because He is good and He is God and that's who He is. Amen and amen to that. So I had an experience that the Lord showed me and I seen an evil spirit. Now you can laugh and say there's no evil spirits, there's no demons, there's no demonic. I don't even believe in God and I don't believe in Satan either. Well that's fine, that's you. But we battle in a war that is unseen in a realm that is unseen and we fight spiritual enemies that are unseen and the father god does the works but we have to be prepared in his word we have to have the armor of god on cover ourselves with the blood and stand in his word and minister his word and put his word into play so once again that is what the lord did for me and now I pray that over me and my family and I pray it over you and we even pray it over the church. So when I would pray this armor of God, it's just not something that we're doing. It's because it works. It's because he stands on his word and he covers us with the blood and we have to be ready to stand and do all that we can do in the Lord and in the power of his might, not the power of our might, the power of his might. Amen and amen to that. So now we're just going to read it and speak a little bit. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 
in His power. We walk in the power of His Son, the Holy Spirit, and we are covered 